Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, as you've probably already seen, I'm just going to go through some tips and tricks on like roofing, just a little bit on platforms as well. These are kind of just some things that I would have wanted to know before I started playing, just to make it a little bit easier and why certain things don't work. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoy and let's get it going. Let's start off with a basic kind of just a sloped roof half gabled roof so if we click on this roof down here it will come up and it'll be a three by three square to start with if the roof isn't the right way if you use the arrow buttons that are on the comma button and the full stop button on your keyboard it will spin the roof so you can get it to the direction you want and then you can click it on there this is the first stage that it comes in so then you've got the four direction arrows on the sides this is the same for every roof you can kind of just see that one through the roof if we spin so if you they obviously move it from side to side left to right and then we've got little arrows here here and then two on the sides as well if you use those that will extend the actual size of the roof and not the kind of space that the roof takes up on the building so you can make that I think it does have limits but you can kind of make that bigger or smaller just that section and it will still stay the same size underneath that's kind of how we did this one with the glass wall at the back have a look at that later so let's just put it back to what it was so you can make it there right so little trick if you push and hold the shift key and with the arrows don't make the roof wider the whole thing wider just click on the little arrow push and hold shift and it will just move one side of the roof or if you're on that side or even on this side you can do it just on one side so let's delete this one and move on to the next roof so this one's a little bit different so this one you've still got your four arrows there, which will make the roof bigger but not underneath and then you've also got these arrows that can drag the sides down so this works the same on this one where you could have one side kind of going down to the ground or if you want it and then this side smaller you can pitch it in dome it out all the same this one's kind of cool for um, making like a barn if you imagine that on a barn as well all the roofs are pretty much the same the only difference is with the circular or the round roofs so this is the circular roof we get rid of this trim you can see that the roof is circular but it's sat on a octagonal room so with the circular roofs you can't push and hold shift it will still do the same thing all the way around even if you hold shift it will still adjust the whole roof it doesn't doesn't make a difference and also with round roofs circular roofs if you drag and hold it will make the whole thing bigger the whole area bigger you can't just like with the square roofs if you drag one side it will make one side bigger but with the round roofs it will make the whole thing bigger just like that so yeah so slightly different on the round roofs but not really not massively different this is the octagonal roof now with the octagonal roof in the roofing options there are there's eight sides eight sided six sided and five sided you can't actually draw a six sided room in the sims that will take on the exact shape of the octagonal roof so if we try and draw six sides that is not the same shape as the octagonal roof because in the sims because it works on half tiles or full tiles these they've actually made it themselves where it goes across in between kind of like a third of a tile and we can't do that so you can't make it exactly the same the only way that i would probably use the octagonal roof is if it was kind of on a 
kind of on a room that was sticking out of a building maybe kind of if there was a weird angle like that and then there was a so if that was there like this if that was then if that was on a an angle i would probably use the roof like that and then maybe have another roof joining into it and then have this roof kind of here like this that's how i would use the octagonal roof and then it just kind of covers there and then if you imagine with your roof trim you've got this and then that blends that in there and there so they work together that's how i would use the hexagonal roof the six-sided roof and probably the same with the five-sided roof as well a little weird a weird corner on a house the square roof is pretty much the same you've got the circles the walls that can adjust the curvature of the roof um, and then you've got these as well which I said already they just keep it the same all the way around you can't use your shift key with that one let's move on to kind of this glass wall here so with the glass wall it's a little bit different so using the if we replicate what I've built here if we build a room a little square so there's two squares on either side copy this using the half gabled roof and then using the full stop or the comma key with the little arrows place that down it's massive and then shrink it down to one tile width and then if we move in the sides of the roof and make it so it's all flush all the way around and then make it so it's one tile square so we've got this to work from so then what we want to do, we want to extend one side of this, just one side. If you push and hold shift and drag across, it will get to a limit, it will stop in the end. You can see then if I spin this round, we've created just one side that is longer. If we tried to put this roof into here, which is where this end block needs to go, it needs to go in here because then this column covers it up. If we tried to do that, it wouldn't work because for some reason it says here roofs can't be placed in enclosed rooms. So we'll use this wall here as this wall. So we will delete this section and leave it open on this side and we'll move this and place it in there and it will go into inside of the column. Then if we raise it up and make it to the same level as the wall and then you can see that this roof wall fills in the gap and then all we need to do is change the roof texture make it clear there and we have a glass wall and it's slanted as well so it's something a little bit different and you can kind of play around with it I imagine this in like a glass hallway or kind of like a glass corridor like that would be really cool like on a modern build or something so let's move on to here so we've got a basic square room underneath then what we've got is a platform on top so you want to click the flat square at the bottom and click that and then place it on top of the room it'll look like there's nothing there but you do have something that's there then what we want to do to create this kind of little little lip and then fill in the gap as well in the middle is use the up down arrows and then click and it will raise up or down on there and then you've got a little a little uh, square roof on the top of your room now because we've added a platform to this as well this area is usable you can as you can see we've added the ladder onto the side of this one when it lines up properly so you've got this and you could easily kind of put like a little deck chair on there or something like that use it as a little sun spot so to change the color of the edge of the platform you can't just change if you try and use the tool on the foundations it won't change it it says it must be applied to a room so to change the edge on the platform what we have to do we select the wall that's the same height as the platform and then apply a half wall to the edge and we will get that and then what you can do 
is you can change the color of the wall and then it blends in and it's not separate to the house underneath either now as well because we've added a platform to the top of this we can add in this trim around the edge if you want to you don't have to um, but that is the exterior trim and it's the second one down and then you can just click there and add on an exterior trim just add something different to the build a bit of uniqueness if you wanted to change the color of the half wall just click on the wall build the walls and then if you click on half wall trims and then you can select which trim you want to go on the top of the wall and then you can change the color there so that is how we created a little platform on top this mainly is to be able to get the trim on the outside because you can use the top of a room as a surface but you can't raise it up higher than the room is underneath see the room is still the same height but then we've got the platform on top while we're on the platforms actually we will go to here so here we have a sunken platform it's a circular platform as well so let's delete this and then I will show you how it is done so to make a rounded platform we go to wall mode and we go on rounded platform I mean it depends what size you want you can get small medium large I'm going to go for the extra large just so it's a little bit easier to see so click the extra large platform place it on your lot and then we need to select it and make one side smaller on that side on the flat side and make the other side smaller as well and you will end up with a perfect quarter of a circle then what we need to do is click the copy button which is under the move button once you selected the platform so click copy and it will copy then using the comma or full stop button on your keyboard you need to rotate it so if you rotate it once to the left and then place it right next to your other quarter circle you can and then it will make it all one section so then if we copy the whole section again using the copy tool and then spin twice and then place next to that it will make a whole circle to get it so it is a sunken platform we need to use the up and down arrows it says raise platform or lower platform so we want to lower the platform and if you just keep going until you get it to the length level that you want it to so annoyingly though when we lower the platform you can't apply a half wall to the platform so you with this color around the edge that is the color that you are stuck with annoyingly but it's not too bad it could be worse so that was using the raise or lower platform buttons if we were to use this i don't know what it's called the directional arrows in the middle that will raise it up raise up the platform or lower it if we were to use that it would make the whole platform sink into the ground and it changes the ter terrain around the edges so i mean depends what kind of effect you want but i want it so it's kind of smooth and sleek so now we're back at ground level if you are to use the arrows in the middle if you raise it up it will kind of create like a wall around the edge and you can change the platform color on this so just selecting different ones and it will change the color of the platform the platform around the edges if you were to make this smaller you can't it says that it's not real it says that it's not valid if you want to make it smaller but if you want to make it bigger you can but it will just make it longer it won't actually create keep the round shape if you were to try and move that up there it wouldn't create the round shape again and um, with the platform sunken platform you can add in some steps as well if you wanted to just well you'd need to because otherwise your sims can't get down into the platform and, and then you can change the flooring as well I feel like that would look really cool with like a little hot tub or just like an outdoor seating area in there like could you imagine like a little hot tub even in the middle on an angle and then you could have your seats around there as well just a little idea we've got the patio stuff <laughs> but this circle is huge so it makes everything look tiny but so we've just got one more to show 
can see we've, it's just a box just something quite simple to show so with this we've got a quite a large so let's just use a box shape and then using this this technique on the platform we need to add a flat square onto the roof and then it creates this so it looks like it's not there but it is there if you click it separately and then we need to use the raise platform tool and it will raise this side up it will keep the room below the same height underneath and then we can add in a pool onto here just an idea you don't have to add a pool in if you don't want to if you can't add a pool onto platforms annoyingly let's change the color of the pool trim and then what we need to do again we need to add in a half wall around the edge here so we can change the color of this wall so i don't like this i don't like it so we need just the one a little bit taller and we can add that in if you wanted it flush to the platform before i had it so it's a little bit higher and let's make it quite high because i imagine someone could fall off if it was real life and we can keep that half wall the same height down there and then we can just build on the half wall and that will connect it all the way around that looks kind of cool with the enclosed if you wanted it to be more enclosed or you could make this side just a little bit lower if you want to add in some steps in the middle you just need to delete out a little bit of the wall and using the stairs you can just add in and then spread the stairs out just like that could you imagine with some a little bit of astro turf and then kind of like a nice little area just like that really and then you can paint a color depending on what stairs you use you can kind of just see the platform through the stairs but, but i don't think that's a problem if you wanted to change the color of the trim on the walls you just go on to the half wall trims under the wall section and then pick which one you want and these ones are from expansion packs so that is kind of a very brief overview on how the roofs work and just little little techniques and tips that you can do with the platforms on the top of roofs or if you wanted to sink a platform down or anything like that so i hope you enjoyed that and i hope it helped as well if you've got any questions feel free to ask i will try and help um, but until then i'll see you in the next video thank you bye